Hi everyone, thank you for watching. If you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we'll generate from these videos will be donated to local New Zealand charities. But we need to hit a thousand subscribers to monetize the channel. So hit subscribe, hit the like button, share the video, all of that stuff, and we'll pass any ad revenue onto the charities. Today we're talking about the first home grant and I thought it was time for a video just really focusing on that grant because one thing I really wish as a result from this video is that just one person who didn't know they were eligible for the grant sees this video and gets that grant. Because it can be up to $10,000 per person free money from the government to help as a deposit. If you've got a couple, that's a maximum of $20,000 if you're building a new build house. $20,000 towards your deposit that you won't have to pay on a mortgage. So what is this first home grant? The first home grant is designed by the government to help first home buyers with lower income into lower priced houses. Now this can be frustrating because it seems at first like a grant that's for all first home buyers, but it's really meant to help those who wouldn't have otherwise got into a house. So the criteria is quite strict around income and the price that you pay for your house. As an example, the maximum you can pay for an existing house in Auckland at the time of this recording is $625,000 for an existing home, $700,000 for a new build house. Also, if you're one person buying a house, the maximum you can earn is $95,000 and the maximum you can earn as a couple or more people who are buying a house is $150,000. Now let's focus on that for just one second because there's a little trick about how they measure your income. It's not your current combined annual salary. If you're both earning say $75,000 each, that's $150,000 and that will be allowable. But let's say you earn $76,000 each. You're just over the criteria with a combined total income of $152,000. This is over the criteria, but the measurement is actually how much you earned in the past 12 months. And we all occasionally have time off where we may have stopped work for a couple of days. So log into your IRD online account and add up exactly how much you earned in the past 12 months. If you're near the threshold, you might find you've dropped below that threshold and it's well worth applying for a first home grant at that point. This particularly applies to business owners who may have expenses they can claim or not claim and people who have been off on maternity leave, for instance. So how much can you get for the first home grant? It's tied to how long you've been contributing to your KiwiSaver. You have to have been contributing to KiwiSaver for more than three years and they give you $1,000 per year that you've been contributing. So in other words, the minimum you're going to get if you meet the first home grant criteria is $3,000. If you've got two people buying who meet the criteria for the first home grant, you'll obviously get a minimum of $6,000. It keeps going up until you reach five years or more. At that stage, the maximum you can get is $5,000 per person, except if you're buying a new build house, in which case it doubles, and at that point, you receive between $6,000 and $10,000 per person, towards your deposit for the first time grant. So you can see why I want to encourage people to really check before they buy their first home. Do they meet the income criteria? Could they buy a house within the maximum price brackets of their area? Because it's really advantageous if they're getting a new home, they could get a $20,000 first home grant. One thing to just bear in mind is that the bank requires you to have at least 5% genuine savings as a deposit. This means that if you're buying a house worth $500,000, they want to see savings of at least $25,000. This can include your KiwiSaver, it can include cash savings, but it can't include the first home grant because that isn't part of your savings. But don't let that put you off. Apply for the first home grant if you meet the criteria as it is money that you can use to lower your mortgage and get you into your first home sooner. 
If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to call us. We'll guide you along the way and talk about how it affects your mortgage, but it's well worth looking into the Kayunga Aura website. They've got a great form there that tests your eligibility. It takes about three minutes and could add up to $20,000 onto your deposit and reduce your mortgage by that much as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to show the love by hitting subscribe below. We'll talk to you next time.